didn't expect you to be right there. That's okay, though. This is really nice. This is great. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, okay. Okay, well, let's go then. Condos. Condos with children and children and all sorts of wonderful things. But just ignore this part of the house. Let's go see this part. Now this part. Oh. You have light. You actually have a window in this part of the house, which is a really nice thing to have. Not necessarily to have them in every room, but it is nice to have at least one room with a window. And you could just do wonderful things in here. Just clean up some of those toys and get rid of all this technology. And this could be a lovely room. This could really be a beautiful room. You're not liking this house, are you? This land's been in my family for hundreds of years. And now, they want me off the land so they can build condominiums. And they call it progress. I'm being evicted. I don't call that progress at all. Granted, we never owned the property, but we've been here for hundreds of years. I don't know whose property it is, but now I gotta move, and I don't know where I'm going. We used to have a family of 32 and we had ducks. Now all I got's bean cuisine. You know, a guy can't even afford strings for his guitar. My mandolin is in so many pieces, you'd think it was two. It's just no good. You can't repair that when you don't have money. When you don't have a house to live in, how can you repair your mandolin? My history of career was in underwater basket weaving. I know absolutely nothing about musical instruments. So I have been able to conceal that fact for the last seven or eight months and uh, actually been quite successful in selling pianos and guitars and piccolos and of course saxophone reeds, which I absolutely know nothing about. <laughs> Metronome four, one, two, in three, English, three, Japanese, four, and Claw Bass. Mandolin strings have become so excessively expensive, they're approximately $4,344 per string. That old train station just disappeared. They dismantled it brick by brick. Sold it to the mayor of Kalamazoo. They must be short of train stations down there. Kinda makes you want to do a little moving around yourself. Get out of the backwoods. You know where things creep and crawl in the night. Yeah, it kinda makes you feel like moving. After all, that old station sat in the same spot for 90 years. Reminds me of some people I know. 